any amount of PFAS is not ideal in a human. Forever chemicals are now detectable in a majority of Americans. Now Nevada Company is making it easy to test the levels in your blood. Colorado is using nature to combat humans' impact on the ecosystem. Pretty cool. And Colorado working to phase out forever chemicals in an effort to reduce how many are making their way into the environment. Well, today, Governor Pola signed a bill into law that will start restricting the sale and use of those chemicals called PFAS. PFAS are in a number of common household products as well as fluids used in fracking. They're called forever chemicals because they can build up in the body over time. The EPA says they can cause a host of health problems. The CDC says a staggering 97% of Americans have some level of forever chemicals in our blood because they're used in so many products that we use. Well, now scientists in Nevada are making it easier for you to test your levels at home. CBS4 investigator Katie Weiss shows us a first of its kind PFAS blood test and the surprising levels found in Denver Metro community members. With a prick of a finger, okay. you can learn just how high your PFAS blood levels are. PFAS or perfluoralkyl substances can cause cancer, reproductive effects, and developmental issues. We use this new at-home blood test with three different people in the metro area. A Denver firefighter, a mom in Denver's Regis neighborhood, and a mom in Commerce City. I want to think positive and test negative. A global laboratory called Eurofins analyzes the results, including a lab in Arvada. Once the at-home test kit reaches the lab, scientists use this machine called a mass spectrometer to analyze those samples. They can use this machine to test for several different types of PFAS compounds in your blood. PFAS, it's not just one compound. It's a whole class of compounds. And so our environmental exposure isn't just one compound. In the three people we tested, the Denver mom had the lowest levels, something she found surprising as she's a cancer survivor. It makes me feel sad for the people who, who have more and to think that it could be because of their job or, you know, whatever's putting them in more close contact to it. The mom in Commerce City had five different compounds in her blood. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm thankful that I could do it. I'm, it's, it's, it's scary at the same time to know the truth. The veteran firefighter had the highest levels. We found five different compounds with levels below, at, and slightly above the national average. Is that surprising to you? It is surprising. I thought that I was going to be well above the national average. Experts are still studying the health effects of certain PFAS blood levels. It's hard to say that there's a threshold. I mean, any amount of PFAS um, is is uh, is not ideal in a human. Dr. Travis Wilkes developed the at-home test. He says once you know your levels, it's important to lower your exposure to potential PFAS sources, like your drinking water or cookware. We understand our exposure. We can use that as a tool to detect things early. Back at the Denver Fire Station, Captain Greg Pixley says he'd like to see more PFAS screening for all Denver firefighters. If we get sick and if we die, our families suffer. Our brothers and sisters suffer. So this is a great thing for us, and I hope to see more PFAS testing in our everyday regimen, in our annual physicals, in our awareness. In Denver, Katie Weiss covering Colorado First. All right, Katie, thank you.